The European Commission has called on member states to step up their fight against corruption. Calling the extent of the problem breathtaking, the EU executive said that corruption costs Europe around 120 billion euros each year, the equivalent of the bloc's yearly budget. The Commission's warning came on Monday as EU Home Affairs Commissioner Cecilia Malmström presented the first EU anti-corruption report. It suggests that measures to tackle illegal practices across the EU are far from enough. The report suggests solutions based on a careful assessment on each member state. They include, for instance, better accountability and integrity standards, control mechanisms in public authorities, dealing with conflict of interest by officials, how to address corruption at local level in state-owned companies, the effectiveness of courts, police, protection mechanisms for whistleblowers, limiting risks of bribery in foreign countries, making lobbying more transparent, and developing inno innovative e-tools to enhance transparency. Malmström also warned that corruption is undermining citizen confidence in democracy and hurting the bloc's economy. According to the report, almost 80% of Europeans surveyed for the study think that corruption is widespread and more than half believe that the level of corruption in their country has recently increased. As we are finding our way out of the economic crisis, this can be a tool. We cannot afford to drag our feet. We hope that this will start a very constructive process that will spur the political will and the necessity necessary commitments at all levels to address corruption because the price of not acting is simply too high. In the corporate world, four out of ten European companies surveyed consider corruption to be an obstacle for doing business in the EU.